family are remembering the life of a Taylorsville man who was killed while serving a mission for the LDS Church. 11 News reporter Brooke Martin spent time with the elder's family and neighbors. She's live in the newsroom. Brooke, it must be an emotional time in Taylorsville. Yes, Elder Strong's, elder Strong's death came as a great shock to the Salt Lake community. He, I talked to his friends and family and they really are dealing with a great, great range of emotions. Hundreds of people in Taylorsville and fellow Latter-day Saints around the world are mourning the death of Elder Trevor Strong, the 21-year-old who died Tuesday night in a hit-and-run in Texas. Elder Strong had actually finished his mission and would have been home, but got special permission to because some of the people he was working with planned to get baptized. It's just really neat that he was that dedicated to his mission and enjoyed it that much that he wanted to, wanted to stay the extra time. We're really proud of the way he served. His family was looking forward to having him come home in a few more weeks, but now all of those plans are gone. Today, loved ones gather to share memories of Elder Strong and talk about what kind of person he was. Kind of had that quiet dignity about him. He was the, the shy one. <laughs> and just this tall, dark and handsome kid and always just, just really, really sweet. Trevor was a fun-loving guy. He, uh, he was really good at sports, um, he loved everybody, everybody loved him. Elder Strong was an athlete who loved basketball and football. Childhood friends say he was especially good at sports. They also say... Elder Strong's parents told me they picked up his twin brother at the airport last night. He was serving his mission in Arizona. The family has not made official funeral plans yet, and his companion was also killed, Elder Derek Walker of Fairfield, Idaho. And the third missionary from Alabama was injured, but he's recovering. Live in the newsroom, Brooke Martin, 11 News. Thank you, Brooke.